Now, Veronica Verakova has graced the covers of Vogue, Mary Claire, and the Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Issue. Now, she's adding her voice as a goodwill ambassador for the African Wildlife Foundation. Pondiho has more on that. The African Wildlife Foundation announced recently that a supermodel, Veronica Varikova, who has been featured on the covers of some of the most prestigious fashion magazines in the world, is their new AWF Goodwill Ambassador. Veronica will aid in efforts to raise awareness and funds to support initiatives focused on conserving large landscapes, protecting endangered species, and empowering local communities. I always had this humanitarian sort of uh, um, uh, desires and um, seeing that they really work uh, with the governments, with the local communities, uh, building schools for children in Masaya Ranch, uh, in Manyara Ranch, um, that to me was just, uh, the complexity was something that I was just like, wow, this is, this is unbelievable, this is not just about animals. Africa's heartland, commonly known as the Virunga region, is home to almost half of the world's remaining mountain gorillas. Virungas are fertile volcanic soils and high rainfall make it one of the most densely populated areas on Earth, where people rely heavily on the forest for wood and charcoal. The gorillas are found in Congo, Uganda and Rwanda. Varikova tracked the mountain gorillas in Rwanda, a country that is still trying to recover from the 1994 genocide that left an estimated 800,000 people dead. Rwanda today is one of the most stable countries in, in Central Africa, and I cannot say once that I was scared. Maybe in front of the large silverback, yes, but other than that, never. It's, it's really well, beautiful, beautifully manicured, agricultured country. And, and the people of Rwanda are just just so sweet, super kind, and, and really anxious to get forward and move on away from that horrific past that they had. The African Wildlife Fund said that these vast areas of land are essential to conservation due to unmatched concentration of wildlife and potential to sustain viable populations for the future. In this region, uh, there is concern that man's closest relative is facing pressures that could drive it into extinction. Varikova says her message is to tell the locals that there are benefits in protecting mountain gorillas because they generate a lot of income and boost their country's tourism industry. Every time I get this question, I have to go back in my memories and go to a Norongoro crater in Tanzania, which is a um, natural crater. It's gigantic it's a gigantic zoo really it's a beautiful beautiful place wow. and you have all different kinds of animals there conservation is said that our poaching in the wildlife parks has intensified recently to the point where the wildlife has been driven from their natural habitats paul Ndiho, voa news washington